स्कूप जॉब ओके सो वी यू नो दैट व्हाट इज अ स्कूप राइट सो टू हैज बीन क्वाइट अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्कूप सो सपोज यू हैव अ a job you want to create a scoop job like uh, uh, you have written some import statement or incremental import let's take an example of incremental import incremental import so what is incremental import anyone tell me what is incremental import what is incremental import can anyone tell me i have a dbms table the table will be keep getting updated every day my job will be running every day so i want to fetch only the updated records so today i have fetched from 1 to 10 so i have scooped into hdfs i have scooped into hdfs 10 records tomorrow 11 to 20 records came i want to scoop this 11 11 to 20 only only 11 to 20 only not the all the records so i want to scoop with these records to again hdfs that's called incremental import the what are the records are getting incremented or updated what are the records are getting incremented or updated those records i want to import right those are that is called incremental import that's called incremental import there are two modes of incremental import what are they there are two modes of incremental import what are they अनिशा सरस्वती किशोर निकेश किशोर आर गेस एबल टू हेयर मी सरस्वती देर आर टू मोड्स ऑफ इंक्रीमेंट टू टू डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ डूइंग इंक्रीमेंट I mean, two modes. I can say, incremental incremental import in two modes. What are they? You guys forgot. Open your uh, where the scoop import commands to. tell me guys what is that what are the two ways of importing incremental import incremental import two ways of incremental import two modes of incremental import saraswati one is append other one is other one is last modified right so when we will go with the last modified when we will go with append when we will go with the append and when we will go with the last modified okay so that you guys have a look later okay we already had a discussion about that now i have created my scoop import okay i have written my scoop code but it has to execute as an ob as a job it has an execute as a job so scoop has come up with something called scoop jobs where you can create a scoop job where you can create a scoop job and where you can make use of the scoop job where you can run the scoop job whenever you want you no need to write the same code you just create a scoop job with your your statements and you can start executing the scoop job and your scoop will maintain internally meta store try to remember guys this is most important thing your scoop will maintain internally a meta store whatever the parameter you supposed to pass for your incremental import like a password username like a last modified value or last value it will keep track of it it will it will save it internally you no need to hard code every time it will save it internally how it will work look at guys here let me search for that yeah scoop job look at here guys 
look at here scoop job is a command guys like how we have seen scoop import scoop eval the similar way scoop job is a, a command scoop job hyphen hyphen create this is the job name this is the job name what are the job name you want to give you can give your own name you can give your your own name what are the name you want and what is the statements you are going to write in that job what is the statement you are going to write in that job in that in that job the statements are import i'm going to write import connection url username password the table which i want to do that i, I can specify my target directory i can do my append i, I can do this i cannot i can ignore also so it's, it's it's not required my fields terminated by my lines are terminated by what is the check column what is the check column guys can anyone tell me what is the check column what is the check column now as i said before it is imported 1 to 10 records and tomorrow yesterday I imported 1 to 10 records today i want to import 11th record to 20th record how your scope will identify how your scope will identify 11th record to 20th record i have to import so how it is improved where it is improved how it will recognize from where it will recognize from where it recognize that is called check column which column I need to check whether the table is improved uh, incremented or not whether the table has a new entries or not where I need to check that is called a check column that is called check column <clears throat> that is called check column so what is the check column guys which column I need to check for data in incremented or data is new records are coming came into the table which column i need to check that is called a check column understand guys we already discussed we already did the, some examples okay incremental which is append mode i am using not the last modified append mode i am doing not the last modified why when to go for last modifier when to go for append you guys know very well i think and the last value initially you can give it the last value is zero and let's say if it is a zero it will go and import one to ten records let's assume that you have a ten records in the table one to ten records will be imported and when you execute next time this value will become tenth i mean i'm, I'm just taking like uh, which column it is identified let's say department id okay department id started with d001 or it should uh, let's say if you take as a, a, a employee ID like or department id like 101 and 101 to 110 i mean 10 records imported so next execution it will become 110 automatically how it will become you know so normally you need to hard code like this right when you are doing import you have to hard code first seven records are imported next step from seven you import so you have to give every time hard coded value but when you go with a scoop job you no need to hard code you no need to hard code why because internally your scoop maintains a meta store it will be having its own database if that database maintains this all this information all this information okay let's try this guys okay so let's try this whether it's working fine or not we will see let's connect yeah it's already connected oh it's in inactive fine so let's connect react to this okay now try to execute the same command what we have seen there okay let's check all the services are running or not yes all are running and uh, 
let's see the target directory if the target directory is already exist it will give us a problem uh, user departments I don't want to go with user departments training one scoop import scoop I'll say scoop ink scoop job import I'll say scoop job import I don't think it's it will be available so it, it will execute you not to worry about the output directories of Java files you don't worry about that okay so it's not really required I'm going to execute this command please look at okay scoop job incremental import is already exist what does it mean so I am creating a scoop job here right I'm creating a scoop job right because I already created sometime before it's saying that scoop underscore import underscore uh, incremental underscore import is already exist how will I know whether it is already exist or not you can just use a command call scoop job show It's missing argument scoop job hyphen show uh, one second guys I forgot the command list okay show is I need to pass the uh, name of that scoop job hyphen hyphen list hyphen list okay so these are the scoop jobs are already available these are the list these are the jobs already available because I have created sometime before no so these scoop jobs are already available so now I'm going to see what is this job I want I'm going to see what is this job look at here scoop job hyphen hyphen show now it will list out all the parameters from the job uh, I think yeah if you look at guys normally when when you import when you give the options right incremental last value 12 normally we need to pass you every time what is the constant connection string this is my connection connection string and fields terminator escape 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 and closed right a dip, what is the table department whether you want me to append to the directory yes or true or false right uh, some see if you see here it is already maintaining some properties from where these properties are maintaining as I said before your scoop maintains the meta store that's called metadata meta store it's it maintains internal one database in that database it maintains all this information all this information so let's remove first to let's delete existing uh, jobs then we will see we will start execute our uh, import scoop import things okay so you can just say hyphen hyphen remove I, I hyphen hyphen delete I think delete drop drop or delete let's try with delete I think yeah it's deleted let's say list okay so let's delete one more let's delete that as well so now I don't have any jobs if I say list it will not be showing any jobs so whenever you create a job it will maintain it will it little store those jobs okay now I'm going to execute again the same this one I'm going to store I'm going to execute this job I don't need the output that one so because I ignore that 
we'll just give this last value is zero okay if you want to see what is the department table let's see that as well if, if you want to see what is there in the department table let's see that as well let's see that as well So these are the these are the records I have in a my scoop. Uh, sorry, in my SQL department table. Two to this many. Uh, total twenty seven records are there. Total twenty seven records are there. Let's execute this. So now I'm passing a last value as zero. Okay. Now is the job will execute now or I just created a job? Now the job is created or just it is executed. It is just created a job. Let's look at guys. The job is just created. It's not executed. The job is just created. It is not executed. Okay. Because I'm creating a scoop job. I'm creating a scoop job. I'm not at execute the scoop job. I'm just created a scoop job. I need to execute scoop job separately. Now, before executing the scoop job, I want to show you what are the properties I have given for the scoop job. Okay. Look at the properties of this job. Look at the properties of the scoop job. This is the most important thing we need to understand. Last value, zero I have given. This is my connection URL and this is my table name. If you see the table name is department, right? And user is root, right? Your delete target directory you have given false because I didn't give the delete target directory, right? And my target directory, HDFS target directory, this is my target directory. And this is hive table. So does I am putting into hive table? I mean table exists. No, I'm not doing that. These are the other default properties. As soon as I created, as soon as I created a scoop job, the scoop job will create with the default properties of whatever the job you created. Like in this job, I created my uh, connection URL as this, my username is this, my password anyway, it will not save the password. To save the password, we need to enable something else. I'll show you that what, we need, what needs to be enabled. This is my table. This is my target directory. This all this information. This is my lost value. This is my lost value. All this information is All this information is saved in your scoop job meta store Where is my scoop job meta store? Where is my scoop job meta store? Let's look at guys that If you guys look at here, one second. Scoop Metastore client enable auto auto connect. 
It's actually by default is disabled, but it internally uses the scoop job meta store. It is false. If true scoop will connect to the local meta store for the job management when no other meta store arguments are provided. If you didn't provide any meta store arguments at the time of the scoop job, it will make use of this if you make it true because we are made it false. Let's look at one more. Metastore client is client URL is this. This is the default uh, HSQL database it uses internally. HSQL internally it uses. This one is internally it uses. Let's come down. Username is SA. The scoop Metastore's username is SA. Password is nothing is required. Password is not required. This is the password for the scoop meta store, not our URL connection. Our URL connection password, I'll show you something different. For security reason, by default, your pa database password will not be stored in the scoop meta store. When exec executing the save job, you will need to re enter the database password. Uncomment this setting, enable the save password storage. Which comment? This one. This one. This is for your URL connection. Suppose you want to store any passwords. You want to store the password. You need to enable this. This property is disabled, no? Commented. That's why it's in the blue color. Enable this property in your site XML. Not here. Not here. Right? Those are all the those are all the configurations. So internally scoop maintains the meta store. Where is the my scoop location meta store server location by default is a temporary location. By default is a temporary location. Temp scoop meta store. Try to look at whether this location is there or not because it is it is disabled this property. Let's check whether this 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 is enabled. I mean this is there or not. It is not there. It's not there. Your meta store port number is 16,000. Your meta store port number is 16,000. If you want to make use of this meta store, you just need to enable all of the properties and go and put into your scoop hyphen site XML. And scoop hyphen site XML. In the site XML is just enable them. It just enable them. Suppose you don't want to enter the password every time you want to enable that you just enable that and you want to enable this job you can enable these things. You want to make use of the meta store this meta store you can use this or if you are using your external meta store you can give that URL also here. You can give that URL also that password username also you can give here. If you want to give your own meta store you can give that as well. You can give that as well. Right. This is the where your meta store details will be available in the site XML or in the template XML it will be there. I mean default XML it will be there. You need to copy to your own scoop uh, site XML. You need to enable them and make use of them. Right. Let's go ahead and execute your scoop job. How to execute scoop job? I think it is EXCC. Let me uh, try to uh, try this. I think it's EXCC only. Yeah, this EXCC. It's connecting to resource manager. That's connected to resource manager and it found that uh, you look at this. This is the most important thing we need to see. This is the most important thing we need to see. Look at this the boundary query select a minimum of department ID maximum of the department ID from the departments where minimum is zero because last value was zero and maximum is is already found one double zero six zero seven. You can check it here 
one double zero six zero seven. This is the maximum value. So it started importing that data. It started importing that data. It started importing your map map job and reduce job. It's launching it. Clear about the scoop job, guys. You have a scoop job. If you create a scoop job, you can make use of the scoop job. You can execute the scoop job today. You have executed, and after after few days of tomorrow, also you can execute. See here, imported 727 records. Check whether it has it got it has been imported or not. It has been imported or not. You can check it here. What is the path I have given? Training one in that scoop underscore job import in the departments in that I have a four files two two thousand. Anyway, you know the reason behind Y zero zero. In the last class, I have already shown this Y zero zero. In that range, you didn't find any records. That's the zero zero. And third part file, you see this. Do you guys know why it is zero zero? Why nothing is there in the zero zero one, and why nothing is there in the zero zero two? You guys know it. We have discussed very clearly in the last class. If you guys remember, because if you see this, the records are two and this one. So four mappers will launch. Four mappers will launch. We already discussed the guys. Okay, the first mapper will launch. The ra the range is the first mapper range is how many total? Uh, this one is no tenth one lakh six zero seven. So the first mapper range is it will go to. Uh, you need to divide one lakh six six zero seven by four four mappers. Then you can uh, uh, divide it. And what is the first mapper range, second mapper range, and third mapper range, and fourth mapper range? So there are no records for the two one second mapper and third mapper in that range. That's the reason it's came empty. Okay. If you guys want, please go back and you know look at have a look on the previous uh, uh, video. You'll understand very detail about that. Okay. That is the reason the empty files were created. So job is done. Now let's go back and see the properties. Let's go back and see the property. Now look at here. What is my lost value now? It was zero before. Now my lost value become one double zero six zero seven. Right? Now suppose if I try to import right. Suppose if I insert any new value to this new record to this, if I import any new record to this, I no need to spec. I no need to hard code. If you guys remember, for incremental import, we have to hard code every time the last value, or you need to keep in a job, or you need to do some scripting, or you need to take care of that, or you need to create a you need to create a a, a, a temporary table, which is you can say it's an audit table. You need to query the audit table. You need to give that value. We had a discussion about this. Yes or no, guys? Every time we need to give a hard coded value in the last modified value. Correct, right? See here, last value, not not last modified, last value. Anisha, Gautami, Kishore, are you guys there with me? Saraswati, Suman, are you guys able to hear me? Yes, sir. So you guys remember, every time you import, you execute the incremental import, you need to provide a lost value. 
first time you need to give zero then let's say one to ten records are imported so now 11 to 20 records i need to import i need to hard code here 11 or what is the alternative way what is the alternative way it's not a good practice to do hard coded every time in the your job right what we will do we will maintain our audit table every time guys this is the most important interview question okay they will ask you they will ask you they will ask such a way that I have a table I have a table 1 to 10 records today I have written the scoop import the last value you have given 0 so it is 0 to 10 records it's imported imported 1 to 10 records imported successfully good next day my table is added few more columns 11 to 20 11 to 20 next day I added 10 more 10 more records 11 to 20 now my scoop import to query my scoop import query last value as a zero last value as zero now what I will say instead of zero last value has to be 10 10 because from the 10 to 20 it will download but every time we cannot go ahead and do hard code at these things no in the scoop query you cannot hard code every time right in the real time you cannot hard code then what is the alternative ways the alternative ways is you have to either save the lost value in the some variable somewhere like how we are doing the meta store or you will create an audit table let's say job one so I, it means that today I executed a scoop so I executed scoop I'll get the job ID like this look at here whenever I execute a scoop you will get a job ID you will get a job ID like this you will get a job ID like this in the table you maintain that's up to you how you maintain job ID let's say job ID is 1 and what was the last value 10 and next tomorrow you are executing the job before executing the job you go to this table audit table get this value get this value and pass to this last value as a parameter then what will happen your last value will be 10 it will take now job 2 executed my last value become 20 and the third day day 1 day 2 and day 3 third day I have a records from 21 to 50 records now my last value will be 20 my last value has to be 20 my last value has to be 20 how will I get the last value 20 again I need to query this audit table get this this value pass to this here you have to write your script okay 20 then it will start importing 21 to 50 records that will become job 3 and the last value will become 50 here so you will maintain either audit table like this you will maintain like this audit table or you don't want to maintain any table what you will do every time you will keep it in one file one temporary file you will create in the HDFS or somewhere every time in that file in, the, in that file what you will do job ID lost value job ID lost value so before executing this you will write a shell script to read this file to read this file and will get the lost value and will pass to this <coughs> that can be possible okay either you'll create an audit table or you will create some temporary file into your HDFS or somewhere and you will read that file before executing before executing the scoop query the scoop job you will read the file by using shell script that's also very easy it's a small script only shell script you will read and you'll find the lost value from the that file and you will take that variable and will pass to your lost value this is how you'll do in the real time okay or you will create a scoop jobs 
you will create a scoop job if you create a scoop job you no need to create a audit table you no need to create a temporary table it's by default it maintains that look at here by default it maintains that by default it maintains that suppose if i added one record to this insert into insert into departments let me take the name of this values values let's say 100608 comma increment i just did increment or else i can also give one more record Six one zero, comma, increment two. Okay. Error. It's already there. Two records are. Two records are inserted. Two records are. Two records are, added. now you go to your scoop now you go to your scoop you no need to hard code anything you just need to execute existing job you just need to execute an existing job let's see here it lasts the password but password every time we will not enter in the real time we will enable the password from the database okay that time it will not ask the password now look at now look at see here see here the most important things we need to understand from the logs these things only and see this this boundary query see this boundary query okay let me copy one more time this information because this information is giving you more information look at here guys what is the lower bound 607 it was a previous last mod last value now the latest value is 110 see the boundary query also 607 so did i hard coded any value here in the query i didn't hard code anything it's by default it is picking from the properties by default it is picking from the properties this is what we need to understand if you see how many records are imported only two records not all the records only improved implemented incremented records only it is taken it is not taken all the records you go ahead and check whether it is added or not refresh go to 4 608 Five is anyway. It's empty. The because it didn't find any range. This one. Understand, guys? I hope you guys are able to follow. Anisha, Saraswati, Gautami, Nikesh, Sai, Kishor. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. This is how it works. This is how the scoop job works. This is how the scoop job works. Any doubt till here? Any doubt? Okay. So this is about the scoop job. Uh, that's it for today. If you guys have any doubt, please stay back and ask me. And tomorrow we will be starting the pig. Tomorrow we will be starting pig. okay so tomorrow next class onwards we will be seeing the pig and once pig is completed we will see hbase then once the hbase is completed we will see the flume okay and project
so i st- i strongly uh, i mean so I, i that's what as i told you you guys discuss yourself whether you guys want to continue in the 5 530 uh, you join you want to join the 530 class or you want to continue in the same class please let me know but please uh, please inform me okay based on that i will take a decision okay so i'm mainly looking for anisha and kishu uh, anisha and uh, uh, these two guys like uh, nikesh venkat and nikesh anyway others are from other batch so i know they are you know uh, okay with either so uh, either sarswati gautami and kishu they are from uh, you no know, different uh, batch so i want the opinion from you guys okay who are actually coming from the 5 uh, 630 so please discuss uh, in the group or please have a uh, your, your own call and please let me know okay